independent thinking and I'm going to consider how as a leader can I manage my own well-being as well as the well-being of my staff during these challenging times. First of all, I'd like you to consider that you cannot be leading your staff unless you are feeling well. And by being well, I'd like you to think about some of these steps during your daily challenges that you may be meeting, some which are just quite ridiculous when you're having an email from one of the governments, or maybe some issues from parents and teachers with regards to online learning and also ensuring the safety of all the children that you're actually working with. At this time, self-care is absolutely crucial. And when I talk about self-care with regards to you as a leader, as well as your staff, a few things that I'd like to share with you. First of all, considering your physical care, your mental and emotional care, as well as the care of your family and getting the work-life balance right. With regards to physical self-care, take a moment every day to embrace the outside environment that we have at our doorsteps. Whether it's just literally going out and embracing the fact that you've got sunshine or even a bit of rain or snow right now, to be able to look around you and take in the wonderful sensations that are around you, from the sounds that you can hear to the actual aromas. Get your sleeping habits right. Do not stay up too late watching um, copious amounts of Netflix or Amazon or checking your emails or using your digital device. Make sure that you have regular sleeping habits. Sleep is an amazing tool for great well-being. Get some exercise. If you cannot go outside, then walk around your house, use a wall, maybe do some simple jump ups, maybe even have an online exercise session with your staff and have a little emotional and physical check in, not just with yourself, but with your staff in some online meetings. Nothing wrong with doing a few sort of little bit of chair dancing or lifting your arms up and down or literally just walking around your living room, maybe doing 500 steps every sort of hour or so. Look at the self-care with regards to your emotional well-being. Look at your well-being curve. Are you thriving or are you feeling unwell? What are the tools that you can put into place for yourself so that you're feeling focused. You may even want to embrace a simple idea such as mind medicine. What do I mean by mind medicine? That is the tools that you know that simply can work for you on a daily basis, whether it's taking a moment to listen to some relaxation music, doing some simple mindfulness techniques, or even make an appointment with yourself in your daily diary if you even take 10 minutes here and there and make that appointment with yourself tell people that you're in a meeting and then you're not available they really are not going to ask you to come out of that meeting and that's something that you can share with your staff too that simple, simple tool of making an appointment with yourself. If you're not well, you cannot manage the school, the community, the online world or your staff. Recognise your accomplishments through daily self-gratification. You can write it down if you want to, or you can just simply every hour or at the end of the day, think of the amazing things that you've accomplished. Having a phone call with a parent, and actually making them feel great about the homeschooling or even maybe checking in with a member of staff. Even better if you check in with yourself and you ask yourself, how am I really feeling today? Part of mind medicine as well is looking at intervention and prevention tools. If you know that you are getting stressed as a leader or some of your staff are, look at what some of those prevention tools may be. It could be introducing some sensory objects. It might even be simply talking to somebody or just sitting and taking a moment. Nothing like a little bit of quiet time. Quiet time doesn't have to be 
pause or silence, but it could be maybe embracing yourself on a simple application online, such as Headspace or Calm or Silent Cloud. Entirely up to you. If you had a headache, you'd be reaching for a paracetamol or an ibuprofen because you know that that may work for you. But as part of your mind medicine prescription, your tools, think about some of the preventative tools that you can put into place. And let's think about management and workload. Do consider simple ways that you can check in with your staff. Set up a Google Wakelet board where you can share ideas or they can tap in with you. Maybe have a daily five minute meeting just to see how people are doing. Use your staff to also be able to check in with you and get that balance right between work and home. Even though some of you may be remotely working from home and also being in school as the leader and checking in on your staff and looking at the emails and answering the calls and checking whether you've got laptops and I could go on and on and on. Finding the balance is key and it has to start with you. There are no trophies or medals left in the cabinet for you or any other teacher at this point. The priority is, is that you have to look after yourself. Value the importance of social time, whether it is checking in with somebody via a phone call or sending a text, or maybe even that another Zoom session or that other team session, but actually it's a social one rather than work. Psychologically, you really need to be making time for yourself. Physically, you need to be looking after your body. You look after your body from a physical sense, that will also help with the emotional sen sense too. Crucially at this time, there will be severe challenges that you are going to face. Please put them into contexts. Turn off your notifications on your digital devices. Do an ADO, all devices off. We have it in our house and it's crucial to step away from that screen. There will be a variety of ways that you know that work for you. And there will be a variety of ways that your staff will know what work for them too. But the importance is the check-in, check-up and the check-out. Check-in with yourself, check-in with staff. If somebody is saying to you, yeah, I'm fine. That isn't really fine, is it? If they say, yeah, I'm absolutely fine. Listen to the way somebody is reacting to you. Listen to the way that you are reacting to yourself too. You know, a superpower actually, recently the psychologists have discovered that if we talk to ourselves, it's a really good positive thing. So I'm gonna say, hey Nina, how's it going today? How are you feeling? Well, do you know what? Actually, I'm feeling quite tip top today because I've just had a great online session with some primary teachers. I've answered some emails. I've responded to a phone call, but I've just got an appointment with myself coming up. So I'm going to take that 10 minutes for me. These are very simple ideas and they may not be rocket science, but what I do want you to do is to actually embrace them and make them real. We have to feed our bodies with energy, with water, with food. Well, why not feed your mind and your body with physical exercise, emotional well-being, so that you can be fully equipped to be the amazing leader that you are and look after yourself and your staff too, as well as the children and your community. I'd like to finish this by saying a massive thank you to you, your staff, your community, parents and children for all that you're doing for each other right now. Look after yourselves and see you soon.